So we're about to go off to Eden Valley to give them some food and some supplies, some uh, stuff for the young children and everything else. And uh, just a message for everyone out there, you know, you can always be the hands and feet of Jesus, even in times like this. I mean, as a church, we should be doing this anyway, regardless, but we can still maintain the what the laws require, the six six feet distance away we got our masks and our gloves and we wash our hands we can still maintain all that and do all that and still be his hands and feet and uh, it's just a call for the church to rise up in this time and uh, really be the hands and feet of Jesus and, and help everyone our neighbors and everyone else but today we're just going out to Eden Valley to help them and we're going with yeah. I am actually Sanal Thomas. I work with Youth at the Mission here. This is Wild Antenna Valley. Uh, so it's always, and this is my friend, brother from Germany. His name is Joel. Joel Hockman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're excited to go with you guys today. Um, you know, Wyvum has always been connected with uh, um, uh, Eden Valley in the past, but I think we, we're trying to do that again, uh, whatever capacity we can. More excited to meet you all and go with you, especially go with Jesus. Yes. And this, this is my mask. <laughs> I wear it wherever I go. Okay, so if you don't like it, it's your problem. I'm liking it. I actually enjoy my mask. So be blessed. Hello friends, this is Pastor Artur Pulowski. We are on our way to another native reserve. And uh, if you have been following our videos, you know that it's um, a very difficult time. Over there, people are starving. They don't have enough food. There are robberies, people breaking into homes and stealing not electronics. They're not stealing other things. They are taking food, food from cupboards, food from refrigerators, freezers. So we have been asked to go to another reserve to help them out. We have, of course, bread, we have pastries, we have all kinds of different things, yogurts, cheese, and um, we're going to try to do our best. In the meantime, you know, we have a long, long road ahead of us. I want to share something with you. It's in Luke 15, verse 1. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathering around to hear him. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them, they said. Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and lose one of them. Does he not leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. In other words, the sick need a doctor, help. And one thing that really touched my heart in this parable is that he leaves the 99 and he goes to look for the one that was lost. So he has to do something. He has to go out 
he has to go into the world and find the one that was lost. You see, Jesus' commandments are very clear. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Why? Because he is looking for the lost sheep. He is looking for people. You see, he died for all. He died for people. He paid the most horrible price with his own life, with his own blood for people. And now he's telling us, you go out there and find those that have been lost they are wandering in the world they are wandering somewhere hanging around with the wolves ready to be devoured they are hanging out in the world with sinners they are lost they're blind they're deaf they don't know what's really going on I always been I have always been saying that sinners are victims of the enemy you see the enemy is very clever He's a very clever liar, he's a deceiver, he's a murderer from the very beginning, he's the father of lies, and he deceives people, giving them temporary satisfaction in sin. The Bible says that you can find pleasure in sin, but only for a season, and then be sure of it, your sins will find you out. So here God is telling us clearly that we have to go outside of our buildings, out into the world, to go and fetch those that have been wandering to the left or to the right, uh, who knows where. When he finds, when you go out there and when you find that lost sheep, there is great rejoicing. The Bible says that when a sinner repents, when one sinner repents, there is a party in heaven. There is great rejoicing in heaven. And in verse 8, he is talking about a very similar parable. Or suppose a woman has ten silver coins and loses one. Does she not light a lamp, sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and say, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost coin. In the same way I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. See? We are to be the light in the darkness. We are to be the salt. Um, cooking for the homeless people, this is what I learned. You have to spice your food. You have to spice it up. You have to put spices into the food because if you don't, it's tasteless. And uh, also you have to go and be visible to the public. You cannot hide your faith. You cannot hide the name of Jesus. You have to shine right there in the public. We have been playing a game called Christianity for so long and people, uh, they have no idea what following Christ even means. That's why in this time of crisis, the governments and the societies, they think that Christianity is not an essential service. Church is not an essential service. It's useless, it's, it's not welcome, it's not needed, no one really cares. You see. Marijuana shops are more powerful than the churches. Liquor stores are more appreciated than the churches. EB games, electronic stores are more appreciated than the churches. That tells you a lot about the state of the church. If the world, if the society thinks of you as unessential services, not really needed, not missed at all, you know that you know you have failed your God. You have failed God because you have not been the light. You know, this is what I know about the darkness and the light. When there is darkness, people are looking for the light. They're looking for the light. They, want, they are drawn to the light. When you're lost in the bushes, in a forest, and you see a light, you're drawn to that because you know that's where the hope is. And that's what the church was supposed to be. In a Western civilization, we, we have mess this up we turn the light into entertainment we turn the salt into smoke things and some mockery of preaching entertainment motivational speeches and now in a time of darkness the people are not looking for the church to bring the light they are looking into pornographic sites to receive some light for their lives so they think they're looking in games to receive some hope in a time of crisis. They're looking in a booze, the bottle is giving them some hope, marijuana shops, and of course, which is totally tragic, 
the churches are commanded by the governments to be shut down or greatly limited only to few people for the church services but do you know that abortion abortion services abortion clinics the places where people murder children are open they are uh, the the society views them as essential services so basically what the devil is saying is keep murdering children that's essential services but to save people to preach the gospel to give people hope the society and the government considers us unessential the interesting things is that the government is offering pornographic sites right now in this time of crisis as a as a way of supporting your mood I guess I, I don't know what they're thinking those perverted people but um, also some of the stores offering pornography and all kinds of different perverted things are open for the public as well you see this is essential services and this is what the government is pushing on the rest of the society also don't worry economy is collapsing here is a free pornographic site or don't worry you cannot meet with your friends and your family uh, your grandma grandpa don't worry about it watch this perverted movie and all kinds of twisted things so don't worry about your future uh, just watch some porno and you will be okay I mean this is the answer of the government to this crisis and of course we know it's the devil we know that he hates you and he's going to try to enslave everyone that he can because you know slaves are easily manipulated controlled and led to the slaughterhouse don't be a cow in Cargill that is led to the slaughterhouse don't be a sheep that is led to the slaughterhouse be a lion and an eagle follow Jesus follow purity follow holiness follow God that sets the captives free the Bible says who comes to me is free indeed at the name of Jesus every knee will bow and every tongue will confess you see the truth sets the captives free God doesn't call us slaves he calls us his children be the child of God so I want to challenge you in this time of craziness we have to evaluate our priorities what this whole thing is really all about we have to go out there like this this shepherd have lost the sheep we have to go out there and fetch those that have been lost also we have to be like this woman that lost her silver coin we have to put the light out there and look for what was lost let your light shine among men in such a way that they will see they will see your good deeds they will see the world will see your good deeds and they will glorify your father God which is in heaven so I bless you with that we're going we will show you what is going on in the native reserve um, we'll show you what we have we have another vehicle that is ahead of us and it's full with goodies as well and, uh, and we're going to try to to tell the people that in the end of the day God sees everything and he cares and he cares not just with hey I'll pray for you and go in peace but I'll pray for you I love you my God loves you and here's a tangible tangible way of manifesting that love here is food here is bread here's something for you so you would know that God is a good loving God and he gives to those that ask I hope that many people will be touched, many people will be stirred into the right direction. The goal, God, Jesus, is the final answer. He is the cure for every disease, including the disease called sin in our lives, in our hearts. Be covered with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus paid it for everything. By my stripes you are healed. Not that you will be healed tomorrow, you are healed today by his stripes by the stripes of Jesus Christ by the beating the blood that was shed we are saved for time and eternity be blessed and see you next time
volunteer. Yeah. But we try and, you know, help them out through yeah, the wellness yeah. center, but okay. with this pandemic, we're really limiting who goes out yes. and who comes yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah. Uh, no, this is very much yeah. needed and okay, we yeah. really appreciate it. And like I said, I told uh, I told the guy that uh, after everything is over, we're going to have a real big get together. Yeah. I would like to invite you know, people that help us yeah. back in there, so yeah. we could recognize them. And, yeah, you know, okay, that would be like lovely. That. Yeah. So in here, there's some sure. brand new clothes, okay. and then there's more more, more diapers. Na nappies in more there, diapers. Okay. more diapers and shoes. shoes. Yeah. They're all brand new. That would yeah. be very much, very, very much new. So tell us uh, what's happening here. Oh, well, we're getting uh, much needed food donated to us, donated by uh, Peace Church Ministries. Very much needed. We really appreciate it. And uh, we're going to be uh, taking it down. We got a place over there where we store food and we do big hampers. So we, uh, we, a bus takes the hampers around to each house, and uh, it's very, very, very helpful. We got a team, uh, emergency team, that's uh, that's out of uh, that they're situated in Morley, but they look after the three reserves. There's three reserves: there's Morley, Eden Valley, and Bighorn. And, uh, so, you know, like uh, like I say, every. Uh, I like fresh bread. Thank you. So, can like freeze it maybe? It's a beautiful countryside here, eh? Oh yeah, in the summer it's really gorgeous. You know, it don't matter if we can't go out because this is real God country, God's country. Yes, it it's is. Beautiful. In the summer it's beautiful. There's a couple ponds on this on this other side here. And there's big ponds up on big lakes up there. Well, summer you're well very much welcome to explore around here. Awesome. Ladies, how you doing? Uh oh fight? Uh oh. Uh oh. That was pretty good. I wouldn't wanna fight you. That was a bullseye, eh? Yeah, it's a bull. Ah, get out of here. Watch it. Get back. What? Why can't I not know? Why can't I not know? Why can't I not know? Why can't I not know?
can praise Jesus for who yes. he is. Yes. So Pastor, you wanna lead us since you are here? <laughs> yeah. But let's bow our heads. Yeah. Father, we thank you first of all for this beautiful countryside. It's yeah. amazing. You are an amazing creator yeah. of heavens and the earth. And we yes. can we can look around and it's a beautiful place you have created. I thank you, Father, for the people that you have placed on this land. Bless them, keep them, yes, and protect Lord. them, Father, yeah. for your glory. Yes, yeah. Thank you for this food that you have provided for us. Yes. We give you all the glory and honor for yes, it. Lord. We thank you, Father. We pray that you would bless it, that you would bless it to the bodies here. And I pray that you would multiply this, Father. Yes. In the name of Jesus, so many people will know that you are a good God. That you are God that provides even in the times of calamities and difficulties. Yes. Thank you for the people here, yes. Father. Yes. I pray that you would use them yes. as your yes. children, Father, for your glory. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Amen. 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 And who are you worshipping? <laughs> okay, tell me. Bark. Whoop. Oh, oh, no. oh, <laughs> this guy is speaking a strange language. Uh, oh, that's good. I can actually bring that. Oh no, this is really good. Yeah. It's going to be much used tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Some some don't have the Bible. Some do Bible. Yeah, it's a, it, it is a contemporary version. Okay. It's easy read. Okay. Uh, but if you need more, I could I'll keep in touch with you. Absolutely. Sir. When we give out food hampers, yes. we, we might you know give give some out too. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. Me, even uh, even if you want me to bring tomorrow or Monday, okay, I could drop. I have some. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll text you. Yeah. yeah, please let me know. So you said because of the pandemic, all the Bible Bibles are sold. That's what I yeah. Like every Christian store, there's Bibles being sold out, and it seems like it's a real hot commodity right now. And I think because of pandemic, really woke a lot of people up, and uh, a lot of people are turning to God. That's good because, like, I think, I think uh, this is a message from God. Because who would think, even Las Vegas is shut down. Who would ever think that? Yeah. You know, God could shut down anything He wants, and this is this is right, evidence right here. He shut everything down. You know, you can't go to casinos, bingos. They're all shut down, and I think that's why I'm thinking that God woke us up. He's calling us. So. By by the. Casinos are closed, but the Bible studies are on. Yes, yes. <laughs> Bibles are are being sold out, which is really good. And like I said, like I really believe that this is a message from God. And I think I think we're all going to be, you know, okay. As long as we, we remember that God is our refuge, I think uh, it'll be okay. And I would like, like I said, I like to, you know, have you guys come down and you minister to the people one of these days so this everything settles down yeah awesome